Hey guys, my name is Xavier McFadden and I go to Trinity Temple and I'm also a youth, an assistant youth pastor here as well. Um, our word that we're going to begin with is the word push. Before I begin with the word push, I want us to understand the context of what we're going to speak of. In the very beginning, we were created from the dust of the earth. In the midst of us being created from that dust, there were trace minerals that were also placed inside us. One of those minerals is gold. If you go and test laboratory results, you will see that within our earthly bodysuit, which is made of dirt, which is made of flesh, which means we go back to the earth, there's actually trace minerals of gold deposits within us. Now, gold has to be purified and gold has to be cleansed. And the only way that it truly can be is if it's placed under pressure and heat. And the word of the Lord today is going to speak as a testament to that, but it's going to also link us to something also very significant as well. First Peter chapter four, verse 12. It says, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing has happened unto you, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be also glad with exceeding joy. I want us to understand that the only way that we're able to receive Christ's glory is if we are able to go through sufferings. Sufferings of us wanting to do certain things in our flesh, but we decide to say no. But in the midst of us saying no to those, those certain things, we do that by not the power of our own will, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. That fiery trial is supposed to test you so that you may come out pure as gold. Whenever gold is being refined and things of that nature, there's that heat that comes up under it. And when that heat is under it, all of a sudden the impurities rise to the top. The more that we go towards the Lord, who is a consuming fire, by the way, in scripture, he allows us to know and understand some of the shortcomings that we have within our lives. And it's in our, then it's in our opportunity to give that to him. When we give that to him, we have to push past the understanding that we can do it within our own strength. We have to push in the understanding knowing that God has it for us and we don't have it within ourselves. We have to push that we place our faith in other things within our lives and know that we have to push in our faith towards him. It's paramount that we understand that if we don't go into that trial, that we won't be able to overcome the situations and circumstances that we think are impossible. The Lord says with man, these things are impossible. But with God, all things are truly possible. So it leaves you to understand that how many people are really walking the walk of Christ because Christ suffered every day to ensure that his faith was pure as gold. He had many trials and tribulations that he had to overcome. And the Lord says that we have to pick up our own cross daily and we have to push through those too. And in the midst of us pushing through those trials and those tribulations, we become not righteous in his eyes because his righteousness is already imputed upon us, but our faith comes out as pure as gold. And the Lord says that we cannot please him without faith. So we have to ensure that in everything that we say or do, in the midst of our trial, we're able to overcome it through his power and through his strength. I'm gonna go ahead and pray that we're able to overcome these situations, these circumstances in our lives. And um, I want the power of the Holy Spirit to be with you in the midst of it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that we're able to walk with you each and every day. You say, Lord, just that we should walk in the spirit so we don't fulfill the lust of our flesh and that we should trust the Lord with all our heart and lean not into our own understanding and in all our ways acknowledge you and you will direct our path. Lord Jesus, as you direct us, Lord Jesus, we know that we have areas and situations that we need to push past and push beyond so our faith will be as pure as gold. Allow those impurities to come upon us, Lord Jesus, that we may be able to know that we can give them to you and that we can push past our, our, our unbelief. We can push past our financial circumstances. We can push past sickness and disease. We can push past the lack, the lack of faith. We can push past all these things if we decide to place our faith and our trust in you. We just thank you, Lord God, for everything that you have done and you will do. And Lord Jesus, I pray for the other one on the other side of the screen right now that they may be able to receive your strength, to receive your direction and receive your peace. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
that our minds that, are, that stays upon you, Lord Jesus, we will be able to continue to trust in you. Thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done and that, you were, that we were able to receive your peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen.